shall we? Yes, let's start there. All right, let's I'm going to take this mask off. Though, I'm going to take down. this mask off too. Ta-da! Embarkation. So this is. So the masks are still a policy. Yep. Uh, when you are in enclosed spaces, not outside by the pool, and when you are in some of the showrooms, the lounges, it's called a sip and cover. So you are drinking, take your mask off, take a sip, put it back on. But we're going to do this really quick. Yeah, and this is December the 12th, uh, 12. 2021. Yes. All right. So still, still COVID. So we are on the Enchanted Princess. Enchanted Princess, and we're going to talk about embarkation and our first. Couple of days experience. So embarkation from Fort Lauderdale was an absolute breeze. Mm. They broke it up into half hour time slots, give you a, a time slot, um, and the number of people that's, that's to just that's to spread the crowd out so they don't have too many people in one space. We showed up, walked through, uh, we were through the line in probably 20 minutes, I would say, from being outside through the checking of our passports, our documentation, walking up the ramp on the ship, probably 20 to 25 minutes. And you have to show uh, your actual vaccination card yep. and you Physical have to show uh, proof, proof of, of negative, negative COVID, COVID testing. within 72 hours. 48, I think it is. They'll tell yeah, you. Whatever. It's one of those two. Um, um, but this is one of the newest, this is the newest ship in the Princess fleet. Yeah. This is the fourth voyage that has yeah. been out on. And actually today, uh, sorry, tomorrow, they're going to show on the uh, projector on the deck the, um, what do you call naming, it? Ceremony. the naming ceremony. Mm -hmm. Which is one of the royals, isn't it? Yeah. Princess uh, uh, Cambridge. Uh, Duchess of Cambridge. Kate. Kate. Princess Kate. Not Winslow. Uh, no, the other one. Middleton. Middleton. Yeah. Winslow is an actress. Winslow. Yeah. Anyway, whatever. So, um, uh, but so capacity on the ship is 3,600? Capacity is 3,600, 1,400 staff. And we were told last night that there's 1,830 people here. Uh, the captain actually contradicted that tonight and said there were 1,753, but uh, it's about 50%, not the 60% I thought. So we can write on that again. Uh, Hard, Love you to pieces, it? darling. Love you really to pieces. Hard, Tonight it? is formal night, so formal I'm all, night. we're both all dressed up. She's looking it's beautiful you. in her sequin suit, her jacket. I'm in the wow, suit. Look at that with my matching mask. So see, you can accessorize. And it's yeah, mm -hmm. and we've got a specialty dining tonight in the Crown Grill, so that's going to be exciting. Um, so some of the new stuff. Exciting, I am excited. It's going to be great because the food's going to be great. Normally you pay $20 about for uh, specialty dining. When we booked this cruise, way, way, way back when, uh, we, as part of the booking package, we got complimentary internet, complimentary drinks package, and complimentary uh, gratuities, and one special one specialty dining. So it was like, why not? Because the original cruise that we were that we were booked on got canceled. It was March 2020. Yeah, it's supposed to be our, our uh, honeymoon. So yeah. this is sort of our delayed honeymoon. They gave us 175% towards another cruise. So. That's how we got, this was a screaming, screaming deal. deal. However, all the drink package, the gratuities, the internet, and the specialty dining, and all of that were included as an incentive package for this cruise. So every time they do cruises, they always offer specials. But that's why you see us having a lot of drinks, because there's a lot of drinks packages yeah. in here. Some changes in the food policy. Uh, you used to be able to go down the buffet, help yourself to whatever you wanted. Now they hand you a plate and you walk down the line and you tell them what you want and they serve you. So it, you can still have what you want, as much as you want. Um, but they, you know, if you want more, they'll just keep ladling it on. Sometimes if you only want a little bit, you might have to slow it down. But otherwise, that's been very good. The food's been excellent. And if you haven't been on a, a Princess Cruise before, there's a lot of little, there's the, there's the buffet line. Um, but there's also some somewhat specialty areas that are included that are right. complimentary. One is called the World Market. It's down on the fifth level. Um, and they have paninis and pasta salads and different kinds of meat pies and really, really nice. And that's all complimentary. They also have coffee drinks, which are not complimentary unless you have a drinks package. Um, right next door to it is the gelato, and that's like $1.50 a scoop, so it's definitely worth it. There's a, a new pizza place called Gigi's Pizza. I like gelato. I know you do. I know. I, know. I love gelato. Uh, Gigi's Pizza, that was complimentary. Yeah. There's a sushi bar, that's new. Well, when you say compliment, it's included. included in it's included in the price, but in you the have base. to pay, yeah. The sushi bar, that's extra. 
Ah, that okay. was extra. Well, Not by yeah. much. Like $3. I mean, it's crazy. So um, far, we've loved the fact that uh, it's a brand new ship. Mm -hmm. It's uh, Everything's clean and spick and span and new, and there's no rust and things like that. On the flip side, there's a couple things they're still trying to iron out the wrinkles. The Medallion app had some mm -hmm. software bugs. We're working through those. That took about 24 hours. Uh, there's a few creaks and groans that probably things need to be tightened down or screwed down or whatever. Uh, but this is a beautiful ship. It's ah, a beautiful ship. One of the important ones. Um, if you've ever been on a cruise before, you have to go to the muster station. You have to stand there and do the whole. Yeah. That's they, new. They've changed the whole policy now. Yeah, so you have to watch a video in your stateroom. And then you and have. The medallions to, register that you're there. That you're there. Throughout the whole thing. Then you have to go down to the muster station and do a little bit there. And again, the medallions right. register. Oh, you have to push them against the thing and they say thanks for coming down right so they have to check make sure that you that you've watched you've met the that you've actually met the requirements but you don't have to go with the masses and the herds but again it's to avoid station. everyone cramming together Coming in together the same one. place so i think that's kind of a that's positive actually a good thing, thing. Yeah. yeah so good. i mean there's a couple little inconveniences you know the masks i don't yeah. really have a problem with the mask honestly because I'm happy to be cruising again. Yeah. So Today was a day at sea. I was out reading a book. We were enjoying the sunshine. And then we had a Caribbean rainstorm. So like one big dark cloud rained for five minutes. minutes and then it was gone. Um, what are you going to do? One thing I would say, because our traveling companions have commented on it in a not so good way. This this isn't geared for kids. Uh, particularly right now with COVID, there's very few. In fact, there's no kids. I haven't seen any kids yeah, seen on any board. Children at all. And to be honest, this is not really kid-centric at all. So there's there's not stuff for kids to do. There's not stuff for we to buy any for of the kids. kids clubs things. No kids clubs. No. Yeah. Now whether that's going to change after the COVID, um, I don't know. I don't think so. It I think just I think Princess is is less kid-friendly than Carnival. Yeah. Some so of the something see. to bear in mind if you've got a, if you've got young ones. Uh, maybe Princess isn't the right way to go. If you don't want to be around young ones, absolutely. Anyway, we've got to get back to dinner. Mm -hmm. So we'll try tomorrow. and get tomorrow. We're in St. Thomas. We're hoping to go to St. John's, but we'll see how that goes. Our, our original excursion was cancelled, yeah. um, but we did find that there is a shuttle that runs back and forth um, all the time. So it seems yeah. like it should be pretty straightforward. So we're going to try to do that so tomorrow. We're going to try and do that. We'll let you know about yeah. that as well. It just depends. It seems like uh, some of the excursions, they don't want you to get off the boat unless you actually have a booked excursion because presumably they don't want you being exposed to people where they can't control your environment. I think so that's St. Kitts. I think tomorrow we'll St. John's we'll should see. be fine. Anyway, we'll report back on that. But so on. far, so good. So, so far, we're breaking so this all up into segments, so you don't have to watch all 27 hours or whatever. But you should. Like you should you like sh and subscribe. And always then, uh, like and subscribe. And then when these all drop at once, because when we get home, we'll edit it. Uh, and, if you, and if you liked his tie, yeah. comment below. Yeah, and if yeah. you like her dress, uh, Comment below. Just comment below. Let us know. All right. Ready to hit it? Until tomorrow. Take care.